Hello, welcome friends. Uh, today, in this class, we are discuss very interesting thing. So, uh, how to uh, calculate size uh, and how to calculate burnish, how to calculate the stroke size in Illustrator. So, uh, let's start without delay. So, here I'm going to use this 25 is stroke size. So, this is a stroke size and now another uh, stranger I'm going to use and it is size stroke size now if I uh, want to make a similar type of uh, size you can uh, simply drag it here uh, and see here uh, you can see this is appearance when you can see this is stroke and uh, this is default 25 strokes now how you can change this uh, go to this here this is the properties you can see everything uh, in properties uh, this properties so uh, here you can change the uh, calculations uh, with the help of calculation so uh, this is stroke size now if I if I put here the multiplication sign and uh, the multiplications into 2 and hit here so see this is a 50 so this is a very good uh, option so we can use in our illustration for calculation purpose so another thing I want to see I want to show that uh, see this is a 50 now I'm going to uh, do here uh, 25 with uh, this thing this is uh, here and now if I uh, change this uh, in effect and uh, give some effect some blurness and Gaussian blur so I'm hitting here in, uh, uh, some uh, 12 so hit ok so it's uh, 12 and now if I drag it out here with the help of alt uh, so it's give me the blurness same 12 so you can see this is a blurness uh, some Gaussian blur effect here and if I hit here hit this this is 12 and everything if you uh, if you put any effect you can see on appearance panel so uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to hit multiplications multiply by 2 now hit enter so it's a uh, Gaussian blur it's 24 so this is a nice option uh, you can uh, check it out and play with this thing and definitely uh, learn more from this things okay now another thing we can change here this is size and now this is right and now no stroke uh, hit this thing right here so here you can see this path this fill and this fill and this is opacity option you can uh, go and play with these things I am just uh, showing you the power of properties now here you can uh, see this fill and these things you can change this thing so you can easily change this height and width here so I am going to make it say 2, 4, 8 and C this is perfectly square so um, you can do and uh, this is 
height and width this is x axis and y axis let's uh, uh, I am going to make it uh, 247 and hit it here so this is x axis so it's uh, move to the x axis uh, point and now if I move it to the here this is y axis so uh, if you want to change something here this is x axis so x axis this is x axis this is x axis so what you can call this is this is x uh, sorry this is something x axis this is x axis this is x and this is y so we can this is y sorry this is y so here i'm going to change this thing and now see this is down okay so when you are going to uh, learn uh, animations this should be a very beautiful options you have to know the x-axis and y-axis so this is a bonus tips you can uh, manipulate uh, your illustrations with this options okay so here uh, some short video about uh, the illustration tips and tricks if you really like this video please uh, like me and please subscribe for more update videos thank you very much for watching till then stay tuned bye bye